So recently CSGO got a new case, you know that already, and because a new case was added to the drop pool, an older case has been discontinued, and that case is now known to be the clutch case. Now, the clutch case is literally the most popular case ever released in the history of CSGO. It is so popular, the others kept it, actively dropping for five whole years, mostly just because of these pink gloves inside them. But the point remains, it's popular. A lot of people have been waiting for the moment when this thing was discontinued because, you know, it sounds like a good investment. And now, five years after it first came out, it finally has been. And people have been rushing to stock up on them. I mean, just look at that spike and that other spike. Someone's getting excited, but are they actually the next big investment? Because looking at them objectively, they've got a huge problem. You see, the clutch case has this issue where its skins aren't that valuable and all the interest in the case comes from its gloves. One of them, anyway. If you want to open these things, chances are you're after one of those. But this is where we've got a problem because the Revolution case has exactly the same gloves in it. And on top of that, its skins are actually good. Well, they're, they're worth more. Actually good is subjective. And while the Revolution case is expensive right now, in time, it is going to fall probably to around a dollar or maybe even less. Long term, it almost certainly will be less. And in the future, if you have a choice between opening a Revolution case and a clutch case, why would you ever pay more than the cost of a Revolution case to open a clutch case instead? Thinking about it rationally and objectively, the clutch case shouldn't be able to get more expensive than a Revolution case because if it was, you could just open the Revolution case and get the gold from there instead. So this means the clutch case should be stuck at or below $1 for a long time. But of course, the market isn't actually rational or objective, and this line of thinking could very easily turn out to be wrong. And here's the main reason why. The clutch case was kind of hype as an investment before they were even discontinued in the first place. And on top of that, case investments in general are massively hyped right now anyway. People are stocking up on lots and lots and lots of cases in lots and lots of different types. And this kind of interest from investors can very easily drive cases to crazy prices. It can't really be predicted for, but one thing's for sure, the clutch case will not be immune to this kind of price pressure. And I certainly would not be surprised if the hype drives this thing to pretty impressive prices, potentially for so long that natural demand actually will have time to catch up to it. But will there actually be that much natural demand for this case? Are its fundamentals actually that good? Well, they're not great. It's been dropping for ages, so there's gonna be a huge supply of the things lying around. Many people have already stocked up on them. And although it has been unboxed lots in the past, now that it's not a normal drop that Valve is inserting into people's inventories, that unboxing rate is probably gonna plummet. And the skins in it aren't that valuable, the golds I've now found elsewhere. So on paper, its prospects are a bit shaky. But given the current state of the market, I have my doubts that any of this is going to matter. The reality is case investing is pretty hot right now. And at the end of the day, people are opening a lot of cases anyway. And despite being an objectively dodgy investment, I think clutch cases will continue to go up in price. Although they will probably be subject to a lot of volatility. And if the market does cool off, I think they'll be very exposed. Either way, I think they are the next big investment. A good one? Maybe not, but big nonetheless.